YouTube, what's going on? It's T90, and I'm back with a Viper video. Yes, that's right. It's not often that I've been able to cast the Viper since Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition came out. I know many of you guys like to see what strategies he can come up with, and so I have one here for you. A Viper, he's playing in the red as the Khmer. Hmm. And then Leary, who is a very talented player from Austria, he is playing as the Spanish. Now, since Age of Empires 2 DE came out, uh, most of the high-level players have been playing on DE, or at least testing it. Some more than others have been playing it. Uh, but unfortunately, on Definitive Edition, the spectating features are a bit wonky, and big, big thing for me is I cannot access player profiles. Uh, the, when the pro scene was on Vubly, I would just go to the player profiles, download some of the best matches, and... I would cast them for you all. I would spend hours investigating games to find the best uploads. Unfortunately, that's not possible. Believe me, I've complained about it, and I hope that there will be change over the coming months. Mm. But fortunately, I have a pretty good relationship with players, and, or I'm able to bother them enough, and Viper sent me some of his games. So, the Khmer civilization that Viper is playing with is statistically the worst civilizations in 1v1s. Yes, that's right. Out of all the civilizations, Khmer is statistically the worst, at least last I checked on AOE2.io. Um, wait. No, it's AOEstats.io. Whatever the link is, I'll have it in the description. And that website was really cool. It was created by Jerbot, and that website compiled data from Vubly games. I think close to a million Vubly games, actually, and Khmer were statistically the worst. You might have seen some Spirit of the Law videos where he just used that data from the website and put it into a video. Um... And so anyways, the Khmer are a really weird civilization to talk about because they have some amazingly cool units. They have the Ballista Elephant, they have the Elite War Elephant, they have the, the Heavy Scorpions, and a Scorpion and Elephant Civ is just too wonky in 1v1s for most players and for most situations. Uh, most of the better civilizations are civilizations that have lots of options in early game, and that extends to a lead throughout the game and then to late game. Khmer don't really have that. Uh, they are unique in that they do not need to build the barracks before they build their stable. Uh, they are unique. They do not need their Dark Age, Feudal Age, and Castle Age buildings to advance to the next age. But options-wise, they've always been a bit weaker. Now, Khmer were buffed. Um, Khmer get Hussar now. They did not get Hussar months back, so I think that will be a helpful, helpful addition. Uh, but they still do not get champion. They lack final armor upgrade on their infantry, anyways. Um, they they now get they now have bracer here, but I don't think they get thumbring. Right? I actually forget. I think they had bracer before, just no thumbring on their arbs. Well, anywho, the strength of the Khmer has always been ballista elephants and battle elephants, which is far too expensive in one v ones. And Viper's going to try some of that stuff out, and maybe what we've been thinking about the Khmer is just not the case, or maybe Viper's freakishly good. Now, this is one of 12 uploads that I'm doing uh, leading up to Christmas. Let's hope I have the order right, because believe me, I didn't title them, or I didn't label them, so I don't know like where this is going to be exactly. Uh, but uh, And in each one, I'm saying what I'm thankful for as a countdown to Christmas, where I'm going to go home and, and spend some time with my family. Uh, and I'm stacking up lots of content for you all. And uh, in this particular video uh i wanted to say i was thankful for something and god i'm such a bad youtuber that i forgot what i was going to be thankful for youtube <laughs> what what is my life why don't i write things down my mom always said you need to write things down well whatever it is now i'm uh, i'm obviously uh, maybe I should say maybe I should say something um, really like dumb to be thankful for now because if I were to say oh I'm thankful for the Viper he'd be like oh you forgot me Monday? I honestly don't know what to say Presta. I'm thankful for awful mining oh, that's not too bad you know what just know that I'm thankful <laughs> I'm thankful that this video is not going to get many views and I'm thankful that you guys aren't going to bring this up in the comments. Thank you, YouTube. So, holy sheep from Leary. Uh, now, Leary has found all of these extra sheep on this map. That is one of the things on Ghost Lake. There will be extra sheep. In fact, he already has some underneath his town center. 
And Leary's bringing two back to his base, and he's actually sending four towards Viper now. Um, or I, I, at least I assume he's sending it towards Viper. It would make sense. Viper found these two, and he's like, oh, great, extra sheep. I don't think he realizes that Leary is sending him sheep yet. Leary is, uh, for a while, he was seen as number two in the world. I would say nowadays it's Tato or Yo, but um, he's just been a bit demotivated with AoE, and he plays a lot of Dota. He's still very young, and so he hasn't... I wouldn't say that he's really at his best right now, but he's been playing the game. And he has two on gold. He's going for man-at-arms. Now, Spanish, they have a lot more options than Khmer. They have the Conquistadors. They have the Paladin line. Their infantry line is full upgrades. Their blacksmith upgrades across the board do not cost gold. Um, they, they even get fully upgraded skirms. The one thing they do lack is access to crossbow, which can, which can be rough. But it's a very good sieve. Okay, so I'm curious to see what Leary does with the sheep. Because he found Viper's base now. Is he just bringing his sheep back to his base? Seems like it. Not sure what he was really doing there. But Viper... Uh, he has a stable out already. You'll notice he does not have a barracks, right? And that's a bonus of Khmer. And he's going to be going for a scout build. The scouts are on the way. Leary is gone for man-at-arms, and normally with most civs you'd have you'd have a follow-up with archers. I'm not sure what Leary is doing right now. This is really peculiar. Funny enough, Viper could garrison that villa in the house if this becomes an issue. But, um... Yeah, this is a wasted trip for Leary. Anyways, uh, normally you'd have a follow-up into archers, but I don't think you'll do that with Spanish, because the Spanish uh, do not get crossbow, so it doesn't make that much sense to invest heavily into them. There was a really weird noise going outside my apartment. The Spanish builders do build faster, so Leary looks like he's just going to full wall, and he might be thinking about conquistadors. That is, that is the norm. It's been a very calm game so far on Ghost Lake. Now, Viper knew that Leary had his scout back here. And Leary finally is arriving to Viper's base with his man-at-arms. And there Leary reacts, but Viper reacts as well. And Viper runs back. So yeah, more sheep. I guess... I'm not really sure what has gone on with, all the, with the sheep situation, but I think Viper's going to be better off. Actually, th this could just be a, a sheep swap game, because this sheep is is arriving towards Viper. I mean, th these guys are probably so confused. Five scouts now. This is a fight that Viper can easily take. But now there's a spearman, so a spearman will make things a little bit more interesting. Viper has to think a little bit more about taking the fight. Oh, he gets a sheep. <laughs> this is so silly. And now Viper is considering taking the fight. He gets some hits in on the scout. Really good unit control from Viper. I love how he's used box formation there. And of course, after I say great unit control, he uh, makes a mistake there. Lots of farms for Viper. He's getting the wheelbarrow upgrade now, and he's definitely thinking about fast-tracking his way to the next stage. Now, one thing you should know, when someone goes for scouts versus when someone goes for man-at-arms, uh, man-at-arm eco is actually worse. You're supposed to pack a big punch with your early attack with man-at-arms. If you don't do that, the player who's gone scouts will have more added farms. So this really isn't ideal for Leary. But Leary is on stone already, and if you've been following Age of Empires 2 and the meta and what Spanish typically do, it's normally conquistadors, and most high-level players will agree that conquistadors are broken. They're really strong. But it's still a unique unit. It's still tough to get to. It's not like the Step Lancer out of the stable or anything, right? Okay, so Viper Walls and his gold villagers, and this has been a very uneventful game. Zero kills, zero deaths. Zero things to remember uh, for me. And Viper's definitely thinking Castle Age. He has not shown Leary what unit composition he's thinking about in Castle Age. There is a little hole there. Viper could lose a villager. Remember, Khmer villagers can hide inside houses. Uh, Viper's villager goes down, though. And Leary has sent forward another spear, so that's good for Leary. That's the first kill of the game. Presto. Viper, there's only 73 food here. Viper really wants it. And he refuses to fight, and that villager, ah, uh, she'll survive. What? Viper? What are you doing with your woman? 
See? I feel like that villager should have survived, but Viper just said, nope, I don't want you. And now he's on the way to Castle Age. Larry, oh boy, he got hit by the town center twice there. And lost his scout. Yeah, I think Viper could possibly fight this, but he seems really hesitant. I guess his logic is probably, well, I'm going to wait to fight until T90 says I'm not going to. That's his logic. And finally he fights it. I feel like the scouts are not that useful for him now. Normally what Viper would do in big tournaments is just start using the weak scouts to scout the other areas of the map for late game. Leary is also on the way to Castle Age, guys, and he has more villagers, right? So this is quite good for him. He's on stone, and his golds are actually pretty exposed, so I'm thinking maybe a castle on the, on the front. Oh, his sheep is there. That's funny. Viper arrives to see that Leary is walled, and Viper still no sign of what he's going to do in the next stage. Now, look at those resources for a, a quick second. 600 wood, 600 food, 300 gold. This is a boom eco, okay? This is a an immediate three town center eco. And Viper... Oh, there's two sheep there. Viper's getting the sheep again. Those are the same sheep from earlier, man. If you could see me right now, I have a pretty sheepish grin on my... F I'm sorry. I'm not sheepishly grinning. I just wanted to make you cringe, and hopefully I was successful with that. Yeah, so there's the town center, um, siege workshop, and now a town center. So, very interesting decisions from Viper here, huh? So, Khmer, haven't talked too much about it yet. Their scorpions have plus one range. Now, it's kind of a meme strategy, or at least that's what people see it as, but it's really strong. Problem is... Scorpions can be very vulnerable to just a few knights. You can make six or seven scorpions. You can even micro down some maganels with that number. But three knights arrive, and if you don't have anything for that, then all your scorpions are down. So Viper is going to need to play cautiously with this. Now this town center is importantly on the stone. Stone means castle. Castle means ballista elephants? Maybe? There's the castle for Lyria. I don't love the position, actually. I think the position should probably have been... Well, I could have deleted the Palisades and built it there. It would have protected things more. But I guess the, the upside of this position is if Viper does have military and tries to break it in this way, it protects the stone a little bit. So it's not the end of the world. The Spanish villagers build faster, so Lyria needs to get those town centers up. It's a lot more expensive for him to get to the options he's going for. But normally, the trade-off is worth it. Now, a lot of high-level players, and myself, notice how I didn't loot myself in with the high-level players? Chat calls me out on that if I do that. A lot of people think that the DE Conquistadors are less accurate. And I happen to know a man named Trirem, who's one of my mods, and he's been a, a huge part of the age community with, with uh, testing and, and Woodlow Kingdoms and Boobly. Um, he has apparently tested old Conquistadors and new Conquistadors. And he says there's no problem there. Apparently there's no difference in accuracy. But old Conquistadors, with three of them you could one-shot a Vil. So if there's any examples here, be curious to see what you guys think. Sometimes it's just a feel thing. And for me, I don't care what any old test says. If I'm using Conquistadors and they feel less effective, I tend to trust that judgment. But man, Viper, and that's probably flawed logic as well, <laughs> right? It's like total total bias. Uh, you should probably use what's actual fact with Tess, but eh, we'll see. Uh, anyways, Viper, he added a monastery, he added the siege workshop, and he actually has an economy lead of 54 villagers, and he's going for a fourth town center. Now, his map is pretty solid, but maps normally are on Ghost Lake. They're normally very wallable. Illyria is just now going for his third town center. So Leary will be behind an economy, but he has these Conquistadors. Now 16 base attack on these conks, but just 6 range. The Scorpions? 8 range. And Leary dives in, he shoots one Scorpion, but he's lost 2 conks already. These things are actually, they're tanking a lot of damage. Viper might not be too disappointed with this trade, not to mention he has a monk there for a conversion. So yes, they're vulnerable, yes they can go down, only 40 HP. 
But Viper, he has more economy and he's holding on for now. And he's also mining that stone. If you look at Viper's Fog of War, this is pretty Viper-esque, isn't it? Scouting, nice and early. He used those extra scouts for it earlier. He's brought in a relic. He'll bring in this relic on the left, most likely. He could bring in this relic, and he could bring in this relic. So if he can make his way across the map, this would be very good. And if this goes late game, and if he wants to try out these expensive Khmer options, he certainly put himself in a position to do so, right? Because what do you need? You need economy. Not just economy for now, but economy to last, because these things are not so cheap. Viper has a total of 26 on food, just to compare that to Leary. Leary actually has 30. And Leary has a lot of conquistadors. He's, he'll be stacking in, stacking up upgrades, sorry. Uh, and he's going for bloodlines now, so that will take the HP on these Kongs from 55 to 75. And he's also making scouts, which is kind of a weird choice. I think he might expect Viper to have quite a few monks, and Viper does. So he's thinking a light cab and conquistador. Now, I think Light Cav could be okay versus the Scorpions as well, but that's a lot of food you'd have to invest into armor on them. Monday. I think he might be underestimating the strength of this many Scorpions. He might just be underestimating the number of Scorpions Viper has at home. Only 10 builds behind for Leary. Make that 9, and it's not the end of the world when you have such a strong military option such as Conquistadors. This is not going to be easy for Viper. Yes, he has two relics. But it's clunky, it's difficult to micro. But I love the castle spot. The castle's right in front of the gold, right in front of the stone. This is Leary's point of view. He has no upgrades on the scouts. He has 12 conquistadors. Sorry, the scouts did benefit from bloodlines, I guess. And he knows Viper's coming in, so he's placed an outpost there, and wow, that is a lot of scorpions. Now Leary feels like, all right, I can deal with this. This is this is a, quite a few conquistadors. Viper says, oh yeah, bring it on. Eight range. I like how he's hiding his monks amidst the scorpions. Leary dives in with just scouts. Just scouts. He kills one monk. He'll kill two monks. Uh, this trade is so good for the Viper. Leary's trying to dance. He's trying to micro as he so often does. And he is killing some scorpions. But I think Viper will be very comfortable with that trade. As I say that, the rest of the Scorpions are going down. You're beginning to see how good Leary's Micro can be as he runs rounds and rounds in a circle. I'd have to do the math on that. But I think when you, when you consider how strong Conquistadors normally are, and then you look at the amount of kills Viper just got there, I don't think it's that bad. Also remember, Viper does have an economy lead. He's actually 25 bills ahead now, almost 30. That fourth town center really helped him. But he lost a monk, and now it's a doubt castle for him, at least for now, until he finishes off this castle. Uh, Viper is on the way to the Imperial Age. Leary is about to click up to the Imperial Age. And look what Viper is creating. The Ballista Elephant. It's an elephant. It's an elephant with a scorpion on its back. Don't ask me how that how that fires. I don't know who's controlling that bad boy. Monday. But it's a unit which has always seemed pretty underwhelming. It does so little damage, but it's also very hard to kill. And this is before upgrades, this is before elite. See? You see, that doesn't look too impressive for me. I mean, I think it looks awesome. I think it looks awesome when you zoom in on this thick boy. He doesn't seem too happy about it. He actually looks really sad. But this is, this is war, elephant, deal with it. If there's any elephants watching this video, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. I, it's just a video game. Hopefully you do not have the memory of an elephant, because I might lose some subs. Viper scouted this extra gold earlier. He's going out to it now. Um, it's one thing that is really hurt Leary is the lack of scouting on those flanks. Uh, but as he arrived, he actually sees Viper's villagers. <laughs> um... And, like, how did those, how did those conquistadors miss? He should kill the villas. Viper hops inside the house with those villagers. Well done. See that, that shot right there. The one before that. That vill would have died in the classic game. 
end up dying anyways. And Vipers begin to upgrade these ballistas, which right now have 270 HP. It takes a lot of bullets to kill these thick boys. Is it gonna be enough? Is Viper flexing too hard? Is he going too deep into this, into his brain to experiment? Surely this isn't possible. Ballista elephants were out of this, out of the question before DE. Out of the question. And Leary's not a bad player, and Leary is making conquistadors. Now, I think Leary should probably make Halvadir, but he really needs to cut down on these Ballista Elephant numbers, because if, if Viper gets enough of them, it is near impossible to kill. Um, so, as I said in the beginning of this video, it's not a unit that's bad. It's a unit that's bad in 1v1s if you, because you rarely get the time. But if you get the time and you get the economy and Viper has 130 villagers, it could be quite good. I hope that made sense. I, I said it's not bad, but it's good. And what that means is you need time, all right? Viper is only on regular Ballist Elephant now. However, he's researching the final armor upgrade. We actually researched the uh, Cav upgrades for these, not the Archer armor. Uh, the armor is in, and he's also getting double crossbow. So now, according to the tech tree... Double crossbow, bliss elephants, and scorpions fire two projectiles. So they'll be twice as deadly. Viper's getting his third relic. Um, he might be able to snag some more. I forget where the other relics were, actually. Look! Look at this! Look at this, man! These are three elephants! Three elephants! Look at all the gunpowder that Leary has! You just can't kill these things! It's crazy, and now with double crossbow, this is sick! This is sick! Leary has gone for Hussars, he's full armor. Uh, the elephants are doing so little damage to the Hussars, it's such a weird unit, man. Now, can Leary, who is 20 population behind, push Viper's castles now? Because you know how important those castles are for Viper's production of elephants. Should Viper add stuff in? I mean, possibly. He has a leap list elephant now, 310 HP. Viper's KD isn't the best, but his elephant number's pretty high. I, I imagine this KD is going to get more and more impressive for Viper because he, his units just won't die. <laughs> his castle's being repaired. He really needs to keep this castle up. It's such a weird fight, isn't it? It's just... Look at these Hussars! These Hussars won't die, but they also can't kill, so... What that does is it gives Leary time with his trebs, and Viper's Castle crumbles to the grounds. Now that is a bad sign. I'll tell you what's not a bad sign, though. Three relics. What's not a bad sign is an extra gold. What's not a bad sign is the fact that Leary, he can't comfortably treb any of the other castles down. And that military count is a great sign for Viper. 22 hasn't really plummeted down. I'd really like to see him heal up his weak elephants. That's a 6 HP elephant. If he takes some time to heal it up, that's a brand new unit. But that is a lot of tension to detail needed. So Viper has this gold yet. He has this gold. These things are really costly on food. And Viper has 76 farmers. Leary is just creating vills right now. Uh, he's actually gone for Cavalier. He'll be stronger than the Hussar. Think one big mistake from Leary in this game, and it has to be said, is he's had... In Castle H, he had all the mobility in the world. And he didn't control the left-hand side where Viper's now getting gold. He didn't control the right or get those relics. He had all the mobility. Viper's units are slow and tanky, but Leary could have been using mobility, and he did not do that. Now here he comes with the Cavalier... Uh, there's also some Ballista Elephants raiding on this side, which is ridiculous. But look at these elephants, man! Look at them go! They're winning the fight! This is very awkward angle. Very difficult to see what's actually going on here. Leary has 8 Cavalier, Viper has 14 Ballistas. I mean, they're kind of winning. <laughs> they're kind of winning. But now Viper's sending in his Trebs. He realizes the importance of taking out Leary's castle. I see O'Leary building a barracks now, so he's thinking of pikemen. Viper has so much time to expand and so much time to create more of these things. 
These flappy boys, man, they're flapping their ears and coming on in and shooting scorpion bolts at horses. Leary has no control over this game. He's had no control ever since Viper hit Imp, and, and now Viper is forcing fights. And what I mean by forcing fights, now Leary has to react to this. He can't choose to send some of his military elsewhere. Leary has to react to this, and he has to react to this. Leary's opportunity to raid and use any mobility is pretty much gone now. He's actually placing a castle on this hill. He does know about that gold. Viper is now making some hostiles from this side. And just coincidentally will end up finding the villagers and might deny that castle. This amazing group of ballistas finally goes down. Rest in peace. But there's more where that came from. Castle's down for Leary. Now you're looking at a number of ballistas which will melt Halbs, I think. Now if Leary makes Halbs... I don't expect them to get in that close. Leary has got to be thinking, what? Dota players don't do this. Sorry. I had to make the joke. <laughs> I had to make the joke. Viper, don't scare him all the way back to Dota, please. There's, this is a big year for Age of Empires. This is sick. Now these things look unstoppable. Oh, Leary, nicely. I, I did notice that. He walled in that one vill. And so he'll get the castle up. Now, if it will stay up, I'm not sure, but that's helpful. Uh, also, is raiding Viper with a few cavalier. That can also be very helpful, and Viper will place another castle there. But look at this. Look at the destruction. Look at the damage output. You'll notice when the Halbs get in, they do some real damage. But getting in close is going to be tough if Viper micros is properly, and he is. And he's slowly, it's going to take time, trebbing down houses and buildings that Leary needs for production or pop space or you know if the market goes down Leary can't sell if you've watched my community games and players would make these people would say why don't you see this in a competitive scene it's because no one had the guts to try it because it's so expensive it's so expensive to create one of these elephants check this out for a second oh well hold on never mind GG's called now we're gonna check it out for a second Leary just taps out man uh, the... What? Oh, okay. Sorry. It's like, Jaguar Warriors? What is this? 100 food and 80 gold per elephant. That is cheaper than the expensive Conquistador, a lot more slow than the expensive Conquistador, and you need so many upgrades. The Viper did it. I think it was just the transition from, from Feudal Age to Castle Age and the immediate boom. Remember he went immediately to 3 TCs? He was thinking about it ahead of time because this town center was on the stone. He just made it look very clean and very simple. Believe me, it's not so simple. Um, it, it, there's a reason that we don't see this frequently, but Viper pulled it off. Again, if you're wondering what did Leary do wrong in this game, what could Leary have done differently in this game, it all came down to Castle Age. He took fights that Viper was okay with taking. Viper just needed time to get the ballistas. Viper had more economy, but Leary should have done, in my opinion... I forget when the stone walls came up, but I think he should have been scouting for the extra golds. I think he should have, upon arriving to Imp, started to raid Viper. Instead, he just sat here and said, sure, I'll fight your extremely strong units. Even if Viper got to a leap list elephant, if Leary would have used his castle age mobility properly, he would have had this gold, he would have had this gold secured, and then he could have been raiding Viper and Viper would have had no chance to respond. There's stages in games where civs are strong, and Castle Age is where Spanish are really strong in 1v1s, and Leary just didn't do enough there. 146 kills for the Viper. The 71 largest army, that's incredible. He did have Hussars, and yeah, the economy. Leary let him boom. He had Conquistadors, and Leary didn't pressure Viper enough. 30,000 food for Viper, 21,000 wood, double the stone and uh, 12,000 gold. Keep in mind that Viper also had three relics. That was helpful. Leary did not have any. I think Leary was a little bit rusty in this game. So I have teased the idea of a playlist for videos like this for, well, more th longer than I'd like to admit. Um, see, initially, I wanted to make the playlist called The Viper Tries or The Viper Plays. And then I looked through my playlist and, or sorry, my videos, and I saw I only had 
like 10 videos that were titled that, which is not a bad thing, but I was expecting more. And then there's different players like, like Dal and Tato and MBL. They have played some really unique strategies with some unique civilizations. And so I got to thinking, should I just ask my audience if they want one playlist, like unique AOE2 Pro uh, strategies or something of the sorts? So that's actually what's been holding me back from making all my playlists public because I want to release them all um, when they're finished and we're getting close. So I guess let me know in the comments if you wouldn't mind if we should lump it all together. Because I feel like if we don't lump it all together, we'll have too many playlists with all these different names. So I'm a big fan of the lumps. Just let me know, okay? Uh, thank you guys very much for watching this. It's a joy to cast to you guys. Um, I have... I'm probably right now hanging out with family at home, but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I hope you enjoy your holiday season, and I'll see you tomorrow or this morning or right, blah, 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 uh, this evening or whenever I upload the next video because there will be a lot.